Researchers have developed a way of boosting people's confidence without them even knowing. The technique called decoded neurofeedback works by tapping into people's brain activity when they are in high confidence states. Whenever the pattern of high confidence was detected, the volunteers received a small reward. By doing this, scientists could boost people's confidence when they were doing a task, regardless of how well they actually performed. The same technique could be used to reduce confidence. If people are given a reward when their brain activity is in a low confidence state, the research led by scientists based in the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International ATR, Kyoto and the UCLA Psychology Department was published in the journal Nature Communications. The research was conducted on 17 participants who underwent fMRI brain scans to look at changes in brain blood oxygen levels. Participants were given a simple task which allowed the researchers to detect levels of confidence. Dr. Hakuang Mao, associate professor at the UCLA Psychology Department and senior author told Mail Online they looked at some moving dots and decided if most of the dots were moving to the left or to the right. We carefully adjusted the stimuli so that they were not very good at getting this right. We asked them to rate their confidence in each instance that is how sure they were that they were correct in the judgment they just made. For each trial, they earned a maximum of AP 10 cent cents. But they did this over 400 times. Associating a reward with high levels of confidence made people's confidence go up. The effect could also be reversed. In some sessions, researchers gave the reward when the brain pattern of activity representing low confidence occurred. This allowed the research Researchers to make people become less confident in their dot motion judgments, even though the participants performed at the same level of accuracy. Dr. Lau said, crucially, in the study confidence was measured quantitatively via rigorous psychophysics, making sure the effects were not just a change of mood or simple reporting strategy. Such changes in confidence took place even though the participants performed the relevant task at the same performance level. Based on these findings, the researchers are working on developing new treatments for patients with psychiatric conditions. The team, in a different study led by co-author Dr. Aksumi discovered a way to unconsciously erase fear memories using the same decoded neurofeedback technique. Dr. Aurelio Cortese, a scientist at ATR Kyoto who led the research, said, Surprisingly, by continuously pairing the occurrence of the highly confident state with a reward, a small amount of money, in real time, we were able to do just that. When participants had to rate their confidence in the perceptual task at the end of the training, they were consistently more confident. Dr. Mitsuo Kalado, director of the Computational Neuroscience Laboratory, at ATR Kyoto and one of the authors on the study explained the process, saying, how is confidence represented in the brain? Although this is a very complex question, we used approaches drawn from artificial intelligence to find specific patterns in the brain that could reliably tell us when a participant was in a high or low confidence state. The core challenge was then to use this information in real time to make the occurrence of a confidence state more likely to happen in the future.